did not return punts last week in their win against Northwestern. He was battling an ankle injury, played in the game, but did not on special teams. And Gallon on the 30-yard line, able to keep his balance, but then knocked down. But, but mostly was a bystander. We'll see if he throws the ball at all in game action. They'll swing it to him here. Robinson breaks a tackle and dives to the 37-yard line. Vincent Smith, their third down back, is in there, flanking Devin Gardner, making his third straight start at quarterback as a completion to Gallon for the first down. Rushing and two passing in the win against Northwestern. This is a very good throw on the run, just a quick out, not an easy ball to throw on target. Micah Hyde had good coverage, but Gallon just gets that sort of stack release to give him the opportunity to go outside and an accurate throw nets a first down. So Gardner at quarterback, he's two for two throwing. And an inside run to Tucson, big hole inside the 40-yard line. And Tucson pushed out at the 33, 13-yard game. Field now at the quarterback spot. He'll hand it off to Tucson inside the 30-yard line to the 27. For about five, Tanner Miller on the stop. Your three backs behind Gardner, including Denard. Gardner on second and three, trying to throw it to Robinson, incomplete. The pass was high. The left guard, number 52, they're going to pull him out, get him out in front, and try to get the ball to Denard, let him use his athletic ability, but that throw just a little bit off target. Gardner's back in. Thomas Rawls, who had only three carries last week and 44 in the season, becomes the number one tailback, save Denard Robinson. As uh, Rawls powers past the marker, it'll be first and goal. Wolverines with an impressive opening drive, but they've lost Fitzgerald Tucson to injury, so it's Rawls getting the carry here on first and goal, and Rawls powers to the goal line and in. Touchdown, Michigan! Block on the linebacker, and then Rawls, there's always going to be one left on the goal line. As a running back, that's your responsibility. Did that ball cross the goal line before his knee came down? As we get the call After further here. review, the runner's knee was down with the ball at the half-yard line. Second down and goal. And Gardner on the quarterback keeper. Appears to be in, and he is. Touchdown. Somebody's going to stop him at some point, right? Or at least uh, contain him? I don't him. think so. Here they pitch it, and now they're going to give it a, a double reverse here to Denard. Robinson gets a block. Inside the 25, a flag comes down. Robinson got nailed again. Micah Hyde with a hit. Well, we didn't have guys fast enough to do triple reverse. Let's take a look. Here's here's a sweep. There's one reverse. Here comes the second reverse. And then normally you throw a pass, but since Denard can't throw the ball, he's going to keep it, and uh, you get a late. So first down and 17. It's a spot foul. And play fake. Gardner throwing towards the sideline, and it is caught by Roundtree. Gardner, four or five passing so far. Gardner to the air again in a double coverage, incomplete. Intended for Roundtree, Micah Hyde defending, got a hand on it. Nico Law, the safety, was there as well. Yeah, Nico Law has just started playing last week for the first time, and that is very well defensed. Micah Hyde, you're not going to run by Hyde. He's very fast, very quick, and I think that's a good defensive play from Iowa. This year, the game in which Robinson got hurt. Nebraska plays Minnesota today, then at Iowa on Friday. Gardner in trouble, gets out of there. But a flag down, it's going to be another penalty on Vincent Smith. Gardner pushed out close to the first down. Rawls is in now running back. Gardner on third and 17. Oh, got a man wide open! Touchdown! Iowa gives up a big touchdown on third and long. It's just going to be a double post right here from both. Dilio and Roundtree, and watch the safeties here. They get down the field. Just freeze right there, guys. Look at the level. These safeties are way too shallow. You need to be much deeper to play this route. Nico Law and Miller, the, the safeties are not in position there and give up an easy touchdown. Will make that injury any worse, especially before next week. Play fake. Gardner with a ton of time. Looking deep. Airing it out. Going for Gary. 
this is to change your shoulder. That ball should have come down more in the middle of the field. Gallon makes a Willie Mays adjustment and comes over the outside. Here's a double move. They're attacking these safeties, and Miller, who has uh, already given up one touchdown, gives up another big play. Robinson in the game and running back. And they pitch it to Rawls. Rawls heading for the pylon. But he stepped out of bounds. No touchdown. He stepped out before he got the ball across. He's out at the two. But it'll be second and goal. Look at Micah Hyde was late in reacting to Rawls coming out of the backfield. He's yeah. out there. He's out. It's Rawls. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down around the four-yard line. Gardner in the gun. They're perfect on third down so far today. Gardner again with time. Everybody covered. Gardner standing in the pocket. Moving around. Sort of like playground football here. Gardner's going to take off. And he gets nailed short of the goal line by Christian Kirksey. But nobody opened. They only had three guys out in the route. And Iowa decided to play coverage and then rally to the football. Fourth down and goal from the one. Play fake. Gardner on the rollout. Flags down. Gardner is in. Touchdown. But let's see what the penalty flag is. Holding number 18. Defense. Penalty declined. Is all the play. Michigan takes a 21-10 lead on a touchdown from Devin Gardner. Let's go back and take a look. A couple of good blocks, one by Vincent Smith on the edge right here. You see a great block, and then Hopkins goes down. That's the hold, and then James Morris just can't get to Devin Gardner before he gets in the end zone. Gardner gives him a little bit of the limp leg there and gets into the corner of the end zone. Backs changed his number last week there honoring Michigan legends as uh, the punter had trouble with the snap but Hornbrath gets it away Kovacs is wearing the number worn by the Wister brothers back when they played in the 50s at Michigan that works out well for Iowa as Michigan will have it around its 12 good bet <laughs> then fits Tucson out for the day so they got different running backs in there as Gardner with a long throw, and it's on the money to Roundtree. Boy, Roundtree has become a factor again. Michigan a no rush just yet on offense. Here's Smith. Brought down at the 34-yard line by Morris. Has done a really good job and had a nice block on the touchdown and had some carries. Play action pass here, and Gardner got him in wide open. Gallon just standing free in the secondary, and Gallon all the way to the 35-yard line. It's a great read from Devin Gardner. Take a look at Micah Hyde. He's going to jump up on the outside, and Hyde's at the top of the screen, and he's got to read it. He jumps the tight end. Great job of looking down Gallon. Michigan going no huddle with a minute 40 left. Gardner. Creating space, just toying with the defense. Finds Roundtree inside the 20 and spun down there. He's smart with the football here. Gardner with time, zips it over the middle where it's broken up by Morris, intended for Funches. Ball at the Iowa 18-yard line. Gardner rolling out, throws it back to Smith, who's got blockers. Smith at the 10, the walk in. Touchdown, Michigan, what a play call. The ball, he still affects the defense. Take a look, he's going to come this way, and all of the defenders for Iowa are going to come this way as well, and then Vincent Smith's just going to leak out for the touchdown. Very well-designed play from Al Borges. It's not easy to take a player like Denard Robinson and integrate him into the offense week to prepare for both of them. Gardner on third down. Again, with a ton of time. Now the pocket breaks down, but Gardner gets out of there. Gardner's loose at the 45 in the Iowa territory. Finally wrapped up by Kirksey. Not one of the most talented defenses in the Big Ten, but these the Iowa Hawkeyes play hard. They just don't have the speed. Big act, there's no way he's going to catch Devin Gardner. Then on the second level, he makes a couple of moves. First down on the Iowa 12 for Michigan. Rawls is in the game at tailback. Gardner swing it to the left side of the formation to Joe Reynolds. 
He reaches the six before greeted by Micah Hyde. Ball. You'd be in a very precarious situation. Although Bellamy is available, the third string quarterback who played against Nebraska. Here's Rawls on third down. And Iowa gets him short of a first down marker. It's Sleeper again. It'll be Gardner on the edge. He gets a block and he's in. His third rushing touchdown. The tailback position, it's very difficult to overcome. And as good a coach as Kirk Ferentz is, they just have not been able to get any kind of man this year. Off the side of the foot of the punter, Corn Brath and out of bounds at the 48 yard line. Ed Gallon lined up in the backfield. He shifts out wide, third and nine. And Gardner with a strike to Gallon into Iowa territory to the 45 yard line. Devin Gardner and these guys, these receivers are coming on. Jeremy Gallon, great route against man to man coverage. When you in the athleticism of Devin Gardner next year, I think, you know, this offense could be really good. Here's third and six. Gardner completed a touchdown pass going this way the last time. Here he has a completion and a flag comes in on the penalty first down to the 29. Gardner off play action. Oh boy. Wide open. Touchdown. Funches. You're going to see a blown coverage from Iowa. Here's Funches in the slot. He's just going to run a little bit of a double move post and a breakdown in the secondary for Iowa. Beautiful view from our MetLife blimp. Devin Funches for the touchdown. You know, got to make some tight throws as well, and he's done it with extreme accuracy. Imagine if Johnny Manziel was there. I mean, he verbally committed to Oregon as Gallon has it at the 23-yard line. Denard Robinson in motion, and he gets it on the handoff. And Robinson close to a first down game at running back. That's where he started today's contest. And Gardner off a of play action, going to throw to Robinson out in the flat. He had trouble getting the handle on it. And now Robinson reverses field. Here we go. Robinson at the 40-yard line. And runs out of play. Make that decision. Probably what they're going to do is finish this drive. See what happens. And then after that, uh, reevaluate with Al Borges and Brady Hope who's in the game. Justice Hayes, a redshirt freshman running back from Flint, is in the game. They'll fake it to him, and Gardner looking deep. And throws an interception. Good play by Micah Hyde, who has had a nice career at Iowa. And that's the uh, first turnover of the game. Yeah. Micah Hyde is a uh, savvy veteran, and he just played the young quarterback here. He's at the bottom. He's going to play the flat, get a jam, play the flat, and then once that ball is cocked, he reacts to the uh, over, call that a bench route, and makes a nice play. Sometimes, Devin Gardner, you get into a rhythm playing so well that you think you can make every throw. That's fourth down. They're going to punt the ball. Hodder up to... Micah High, this will be the first punt in like 75 minutes of game action. <laughs> Not kidding. Good return into Michigan territory to the 44.